Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com, and today I'm actually doing a Page Plus flashing tutorial. I know I get some users uh, that are on Cricket moving to areas where they can't have flash phones on Cricket Wireless, where Cricket actually acts as just an MVNO of Sprint, and they only have Pago options. Um, until this site can stand on its own, uh, Page Plus users will forward to Cricket users and we'll have a section. Uh, what I'm doing is the Motorola Photon Q. 4G LTE originally on Sprint. Uh, I've already used the videos from Cricket users to show you how to get in Diag mode, how to get the MSL. Uh, M. Rob himself is the one who uh, helped get the, the SPC uh, without having to call Sprint. Uh, also, he makes an MMS program that will work across uh, many uh, CDMA carriers. So, the first thing you want to do once you get connected to the device, you already have the MSL. Uh, SPC, etc. Uh, we've written all zeros here. Go ahead and connect to that device on whatever port uh, you have it on. In our case, it's 15. We're using this program called MV Items Reader Writer uh, version 1.0 by CDMAWare. They also make CDMA Workshop. Uh, they've been nice enough to put this tool out for free. So go ahead and connect to the device. Um, go ahead and read. Let's see. You want to read 8035. And you're going to write, if you're using this program, the 3.x version. If you're using CDMA Workshop uh, 2.7, I have another version out there uh, for that. So you'll write this one NV item and it'll make sure that everything sticks. Uh, we click write. Let's see, here we go. I'll let you know one has been successfully written to the device. You can go ahead and close that down. You don't need to reset the phone at this time. Go ahead and go into your uh, QPST. We'll go into QPST configuration uh, first in case you've never done anything with QPST. It comes up uh, something like this. You'll go into port, add new port, and you should see that diag port. Click the checkbox if you don't add it. And then you'll come up with a device like this if everything's working properly. Go to Start Clients, Service Programming. You'll see a phone selection screen. Go ahead and select your phone and hit OK. Then you'll be brought to this right here. Go ahead and read from the phone into your SPC. Hit OK. Here's our page plus information right here. Um, I already have that in there. My MIN is the same. You want to enter your phone number first, right here, and then your MIN right there. Because if you enter your MIN first and change the digit over here, you'll notice it changes right there. Go over to your Roam tab next. Go ahead and find an adequate page plus PRL. We're using 51765. Move over to this tab right here. Uh, we have mobile IP behavior set to simple only. I was getting an error when I had it. Mobile plus simple fallback. Uh, profile 0 is not enabled. It's right there. Profile 1 is in use. So our number at vzw3g.com. And again, same thing. Uh, rev I think it's reverse tunnel preferred. I just have it set like that. Um, you can enter VZW here. Pretty much you'll only get 1x and that's one of the drawbacks when using uh, Sprint devices, other CDMA devices, uh, other than a Verizon uh, device. Uh, Verizon LTE devices also have the problem of not being able to program over the air so you only get 1x data on those as well. Go over to PVP config. We're going to go right here to UM. Go ahead and type in our phone number at VZW3G.com. Same thing in the tethered NAI and the passwords VZW. Same thing over here. Some of these fields you probably don't have to enter but we just do it anyways. Uh, phone number at VZW3G.com password VZW and then go ahead and write to the phone. So at this point the phone will reboot. You don't need the bootloader unlocked and you don't need the device uh, rooted. You'll get that little error message. Uh, that's fine. But at this point you should have talk text and uh, 1x internet uh, data connection. Uh, of course you'll have to put this ESN on your Page Plus account and 